Welcome to Six African Trade Talks, the show that brings you closer to the intra Africa trade business world. In this episode, our guest is Mr. Dave Coffey. Mr. Coffey is the CEO of the African Association of Automotive Manufacturers, Triple AM. The vision of the African Association of Automotive Manufacturers is to industrialize the automotive sector across the continent by working with African governments to shape and implement policies and ecosystems that will attract the investment of global OEMs and component manufacturers and unlock the economic potential uh, of the continent. Our members are from across Africa and include global OEMs, national assemblers, component manufacturers and service providers that can support the development of effective automotive ecosystems. If you just look at some of the successes in Africa, the government of Ghana approved their policy in March 2020. Since then, VW started assembling vehicles, followed by Toyota more recently, with Nissan to commence assembly in January next year. Uh, Peugeot has just announced its assembly program, and I know three other global brands that will commence assembly by, by the 1st of May 2022. Uh, in Ethiopia at the moment, we are actually working with the, the government to develop an automotive policy, and we hope that that will be approved by the end of the year. We recently had an engagement with the Prime Minister of Egypt, where there's a complete commitment, and it's exciting, for the, for the development and implementation of an integrated automotive policy that will make a huge difference to the industrialization of the auto sector in Egypt. In addition, the Parliament of Kenya approved their new automotive policy uh, during this year, and this will be implemented uh, over the next six to 12 months. This is also an exciting development, huge, huge potential in Kenya to grow their, their assembly volumes. That's great. Uh, interesting to hear of this great initiative and these developments that uh, will create employment on our continent and uh, transform our industries. Which countries are at the state of readiness to be part of an African automotive supply chain? So South Africa and Morocco lead this. They have integrated uh, supply chains and they're followed by, by Egypt that's also well industrialized, but not at the same level of depth of development. Uh, and Tunisia is not far behind that too. Then if you look at Kenya, Kenya has much potential in its supply chain. I visited the component manufacturers on the ground and they are a little constrained at the moment by the limited volumes in uh, vehicle assembly in Kenya, but huge potential when the, when the volumes pick up. And then you have the infant industry, the new industry of Ghana, where there's very little in the value chain. And that's where we've been taking component manufacturers from South Africa, from Germany, and soon from Egypt to visit Ghana and to explore opportunities of developing a value chain. It's always great to learn from fellow African countries, isn't it? Absolutely. And I would like to see Africa integrate into Africa. And where we don't have the technologies, we can obviously import them from outside of Africa and create partnerships in Africa. Key is to uplifting the technology and skill base of Africa in partnership with Africans in this journey to develop the automotive sector. Do you expect the automotive show and the forum at the Intra-Africa Trade Fair in Durban to further this effort? The auto forum will share the opportunities presented by developing and implementing progressive auto policies across the continent. I believe that the new vehicle sales in Africa will increase from 1.1 million pre-COVID to 5 million by 2035. The uh, forum will also enable the participants to engage on what is actually required to facilitate these uh, opportunities. The trade fair and forum will also provide a networking opportunity for auto stakeholders from across Africa to engage, to learn, to explore partnerships and align on the journey to industrialize and grow the auto sector on the continent of Africa. Why and how can existing prospective supply chain members participate? So participation is open to all those interested and passionate about the African opportunity. So prospective supply chain members in new auto economies can attend 
and engage with existing stakeholders from across Africa and external to Africa. And existing members can exhibit their capabilities in order to explore growth opportunities in both business expansion and technology development. I understand the forum begins with a heads of state session and then address six themes. Please share more on the program, speakers and expected outcomes. So the auto forum does start with a closed breakfast session between the automotive CEOs and key stakeholders and, and specific heads of state uh, to di discuss you know, what is required to accelerate the development of the auto industry uh, across the continent. This is followed by a panel session with the heads of state, which will also be given the opportunity for the audience to ask uh, questions. Uh, then we move on to the six themes, and these six themes will take the, the mode of presentation, a case study, followed by a working group. And the working group will, will engage on the topic and a, the facilitator of each of the working groups in the breakaway sessions will have the opportunity to come back at the plenary session and give feedback on what the working group believes is important to unblock the obstacles of that specific theme. And the themes are development of regional value chains and skills development, the automotive policy, vehicle safety, sustainability, and infrastructure and supply chain. What we want to achieve is we want to actually get into the, the heart of the activities that will unlock this industry on the continent. Thank you, Dave. Lastly, how significant is the African Free Trade Agreement and why? So this is the world's largest free trade bloc in terms of participating countries. And of importance is the newly formed African Continental Free Trade Area Secretariat that is based in Accra. And the Secretariat is absolutely committed to industrializing the African continent in a number of sectors of which the automotive is one of the priorities. In support of the Secretariat, we have AAAM ourselves, which is a private sector association that is dedicated to driving the industrialization and growth of the sector across the continent. It is exciting to see uh, that the support to realize a fully integrated and significant auto industry in Africa is gaining much interest from within Africa and external to Africa. This is all significant as the single market of the African continental free trade area will provide the scale that is required to be a globally competitive African automotive sector. Thank you very much, Dave. Uh, that marks the end of our podcast. Um, you know, looking forward to seeing you in Durban. Yes, Chad. It will be exciting. I look forward to seeing so many participants from across Africa who are interested in not only industrializing the auto sector, but interested in growing Africa as a whole within the single market of the free trade area. My business is growing. Thanks to Advocado Africa, digital marketing is the way to go. I get to know what my customers want and how they feel in real time. Besides, I choose how much to spend. I feel in control. If you want to take control of your marketing, contact Advocado Africa now. Visit www.advocadoafrica. Advocado Africa, we mind your business. Africa is a continent full of potential, but potential means nothing if we don't take action to create value. Let us take action. Thank you for listening to this episode. Don't forget to post and share this episode on your social media platforms. It will help us reach our mission of sharing knowledge about intra africa trade and making it available to as many people as possible. Let us grow our continent. We can go far, fast, together. If you can please leave a review on our podcast page or on Apple Podcasts. See you next time.